In this lecture, we're going to continue our configuration of this Jekyll site. I want to start off with um, configuring uh, the appearance of certain pages. Um, we'll, we'll add some, um, some pages, uh, as well as look at ways of being able to uh, configure and style both um, web pages as well as blog posts. So I want to start off with changing this uh, this title um, so that uh, it, uh, it doesn't appear as Bootstrap 3, but rather I want to be able to display um, some of the configuration information that is contained in the uh, um, in the underscore config.yml page. Now, um, I didn't show this before, but I went ahead and changed the um, uh, some of the content in the underscore config.yml, uh, put an email address in that doesn't obviously work, um, uh, but put some things in here. And then when I change the default, um, this Profconauts demo is going to appear up here. So let's begin. I'm going, what I'm going to do is use a site variable, and I don't know if site actually has title in here as one of the variables. I don't see it there, but one of the things you'll find with Jekyll is that if you add a variable name to the config.yml, those things end up being uh, reflected in the, uh, in the set of variables that you can use. So they're sort of the default variables that are listed here, but then I can add variables through the config.yml file. All right. So, what do I need to do? I'm going to get rid of this title and replace it with the variable site title and save that file. Now, one of the things to notice here, it's like I'm going to refresh this page. And I don't, yeah, actually look at that. So it did, it showed up here as the title on the page. Uh, sometimes those things don't work when you edit them directly, and so um, you need to uh, restart the server. Actually, here's, here's how that would break. Um, let's see, I'm gonna change this to hello world. Actually, just, yeah, yeah let's try that. And um, so even though the config YML changed, if I refresh the page, still says Profganod's demo. And it isn't until I restart the server, which I'm gonna hit control C here. And one last command. Here it is. So now that I've done that and I refresh the page, it says hello world, which I didn't actually want hello world, so I better go back and change that. Okay. Right. And again, got to restart the server. And refresh, and there it is. Okay. So that's the first change I wanted to make. Um, next change that I want to make is I want to have there be different pages based on whether or not, or different layouts um, based on whether or not I have a post or a page. And I actually don't have any pages yet here for the site. So I'm going to create a new folder called underscore pages. And what I'm going to do here is add a couple, I'm going to add, I'm going to add one um, marked on file, or maybe I'll add two, well, just one. Um, I'm going to call this just home. Actually, I should start from zero. Home dot markdown. And um, so let me create this page. <clears throat> so basic header information. Um, I'm going to give it a layout that I'm going to call page, although I'm not going to create a page layout. I'll call the title um, home. 
And I want to get a, give it something called a permalink. And this will just, I'm, I'm basically hard coding in the, uh, the URL for the page. So it's the base URL plus slash home in order to get to this page. And, uh, and now some content. Um, so prof demo site. This is my demo site. There are many like it, but this one is mine. All right. So, um, okay. So I now have pages that um, would be part of my site. But if I go here and you'll notice that where where are the pages? Now I did put, make a permalink. But there, it's, it's going to be here at home, uh, or not. Actually, I think I need to restart my restart Jekyll. I may actually be missing one more piece that I need. Um, yeah, there's actually one more thing that I'm missing. I need to change something in config.yml because I haven't actually told Jekyll to look for my pages. I'm going to go include pages. Now, let's try it. No, it's still not there. Maybe slash. No, I'm still missing something. Okay. okay. I'm not exactly sure what I'm missing yet. I will let me think about that a second while I uh, move on to the next thing that I wanted to show. Uh, we're going to need this um, so that we can actually add more pages to the site. Um, and at the moment, seem to be including anything other than just the base oh, and I'm not even running now. Let's turn it back up. Okay. Right, so back to our original, original site. Let me see if home got picked up. I don't think that it has because I haven't done anything. Oh, there it is. Okay, so um, so there's the that's the link to the perm site. But what I really want to do is make these links up here so that one of them is home, one of them is uh, is the blog. Uh, but at the moment, um, I only have just this as my default page. Okay, so um, so what to do next? What I'd like to do is. Um, I want to move some things into a header file before I start adding all those other pages and everything. So I'm going to um, I'm going to move some things from uh, from my uh, my file here into the header page, and it's basically all of this, all the nav bar stuff. Everything that's part of nav bar is going to go into um, into the uh, uh, into the header file, and actually, I'm going to change the location of this content from outside of the nav bar. Actually, it was outside the nav bar already. Oh, no, it wasn't. So I'm going to put it here, and I'm going to move the whole nav bar. out of this file and I'm going to put it into the header file. Uh -oh. There. Okay, so this is everything that is part of the navigation um, and it's now in the header. But I need to do one more thing here. I need to make sure that I do an include
header.html. Yeah, and you can uh, you can guess here what I'm going to eventually do is add something here for include footer to the HTML. Although I'm not actually going to have anything in the footer, but um, I'm just going to put that there as a placeholder. And just as a reminder of you know how these files should be uh, should be formatted. So you'll have your content, you'll have your header and footer. Now, uh, in the next uh, video, we're going to uh, we're going to look at creating another layout besides just the regular layout. I'm going to have two layouts: one for blog posts and a layout for pages, which will actually just be our default. Uh, all right. So, what did we learn here? We learned something about using variables in a roundabout way. As I tried to f muddle through it, but um, so here's you know, use of a variable. Um, it's related to these variables that you find on the Jekyll um, site for uh, the documentation. Uh, and it allowed us to do things like configure the site name. Uh, I've also moved things into a header um, out of the main body of the, um, of the default uh, layout. I'm going to go ahead and save that just to make sure that this has all worked. And just kind of reload it so everything's still the same, so we're good. Um, and in the next video, then, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layout, uh, one that is specific to blog posts. Um, and again, we'll use more variables to do that. Um, but, but then we'll see the difference between the styling of just the default page and the, uh, the post page. So um, that concludes this video.